Hi everybody, Sonia SF here, health coach and chef for those uh, with ADHD. Today what I wanted to talk a little bit about is something that uh, is a characteristic of ADHD and it has a lot to do, well it is emotional regulation. So some of that, what some of that means, if you're not familiar with the term. So we're talking a little bit about uh, low levels of frustration, just, just having almost like a trigger, a trigger temper, uh, impatience, impulsivity, maybe an anger outburst or an anger inburst. Uh, oftentimes, you know, for women and for me specifically, uh, I'll have things going on internally, like I'll, I'll throw a, a, a temper tantrum on the inside and it doesn't necessarily uh, show itself depending on the situation. So this is what I wanted to say about emotional re regulation. It's real important to have to gain a level of appreciation for that aspect of you because it's telling you, it's it's information, right? It, it's telling you a lot of key information about yourself and about whatever it is that's going on at the time, if you choose to look at it in that way, right? I know for a long time, uh, and still at, at times uh, when I have, when I'm experiencing that, I judge it. I judge, I, I say to myself, well, that's, you know, this makes no sense. You're, act, you, you're acting like a child or whatever. Um, so I, so I get in the judgment mode. As soon as I can make that shift, and as soon as you can make that shift, the better it is, right? Because the bottom line and the grand scheme of things, the more that, the more that you are self-aware, the more that you are going to be able to find tools and resources and navigate your daily life in a place of joy versus in a place of struggle. Um, emotional regulation can be even more, I don't want to say more tricky than other aspects of ADHD. Uh, but it's it, it offers a lot of clues, right? It'll 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 tell you a lot of what's going on with your emotions uh, in any given situation. So I'm going to keep it short. I'm just going to stop there, and this is what I'm going to say: emotional regulation, impulsivity, impatience, uh, internal or external outbursts. Um, how can you start using that as a clue, and rather than responding and being reactive initially, or even if you are still reactive, you can still learn from it, right? Just because you uh, weren't perfectly present at that moment doesn't, it doesn't negate the fact that there's a lot that can be gained from the experience. So I really want you to, to get to shift the mindset into a mindset of, of appreciation, of value, and of curiosity, really, more than anything. Uh, because the more that you understand your what triggers you, the more you are intentional versus reactionary on your daily life. And we all know <laughs> what an intentional life versus a reactionary life can look like. Um, okay, that's all that I wanted to say. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.